Mrs. Kayla Blank, who is welcome, who is a welcome, who is a Torah mate with Rebecca Simonson. It's a pleasure to have you both here. Isn't that interesting? I was just talking about women Torah mates, so hurry up the, the Ura Studio. I don't know how they got you. They must have got you here by Concord, and uh, they whisked an example. You know, you know, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of women Torah mates. And um, Mrs. Blank, uh, when you were approached to, to be a Torah mate, did you have any reservations, any concerns? Oh, yeah, uh, a lot. Um Number one, I haven't taught in a long time. I wasn't sure I would be able to find, know the answers of all the questions. I would be, I'm pretty bit, I have a busy schedule and I wasn't quite sure whether I would even find the time on a steady basis. And then um, talking to a total stranger, would I be able to do it? But Connie, Connie Miller is the uh, um, coordinator. coordinator, right? She encouraged me and, you know, it was a mitzvah and I said, I, I'll try, but she'll, you know, she was really great. And so tell me something, because, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are thinking, you know, this Torah made business, is it for me? Could, could you tell them what you gained from this partnership? Oh, wonderful. Um, first of all, since Baruch Hashem, I've been firm all my life, there are things that you do, road, you know, you do these things, you do the mitzvahs. Do I ever stop to think why I'm doing it? Because of Rebecca, I start having to find out and oh no that's a good question let me let me find out let me check out and see why I'm doing this mitzvah for the last how many years and I learned and besides I learned I got a great friend <laughs> we we really hit it off and we're just we're having a great time together you know that's a common denominator that we hear from all the Torah mates that have been on the year that besides the religious aspect and the spiritual aspect, they found soulmates. They found, it's not just Torah mates, but it's soulmates as well. And it's really a two-way relationship. It's not a one-way relationship. Uh, Rebecca, let me, let me ask you a question. Um, first of all, how did you find out about the Torah mate program? Well, I live in Sharon, Massachusetts, so I never heard of Uber before in my life. And I am active within the Sharon Community Kolel. Right. And um, the Rebbitson there told me about Ura and told me about the Torah mate. And she contacted Khani Miller for me. And Khani called me. And she sounded nice, so I returned her phone call. And she told me all about how we would do it and told me about her mother in law. And. <laughs> Um, I said yes, and she called her mother-in-law, and her mother-in-law said yes, and then um, Kayla called me for the first time on the time that we both agreed upon, and it's been amazing ever since. So what do you study? We study from a book called Gateway to Judaism. Oh, that's a great book. Yes, and we, she st um, studies whatever I want. If um, we jump around, we don't go chapter one, we, whatever, if there's a holiday coming up, we skip to that chapter. I, we both read the chapter, and then she listens to all my questions, and we discuss it. And she, if she doesn't know the answer, she tells me. She Rebecca, make it just up. excuse me. Yossi wants to give out some numbers. One eight seven 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 auction is the number. Please dial right now. We have extra operators standing by. We want to get you in the computer, so when we pull out the winners, your name might be there. Change your life. One eight seven 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 auction. I'm sorry, Rebecca. You were I interrupted you. You were telling us. Just you know, she. She handles all my questions with, with grace, and, and she finds the answers, and the next time we speak, she gives me the answers that I was looking for, and I understand why it is that I'm, I'm studying and getting closer to Hashem. You see, Kayla made a very interesting point, and she said that, you know, for religious people that uh, get involved in the Torah mate, they, they begin to appreciate not to do things in a mechanical way. Because when they hear from somebody who's, who it's fresh, so it, it lends a freshness. Is, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. It, it, Kayla, let me ask something. You don't feel that, you know, you're, you're the type of person that necessarily had special skills to do this? No, not at all. I want our listeners to hear that because, you know, there are people there that have maybe a day that they're a little bored or, you know, they don't have what to do or maybe you don't have something to look forward to. I imagine that you look forward to this experience. Oh, yes, 100%. I time it. I, get, I know I have to get my things done. I, this is my time, and we're going to be ready for it. And, yes, it's very exciting. 
And there are times that you don't know an answer, so you call up right. your coordinator, right? I call up um, Rabbi Yaffe, right. from, and I ask him any questions that I have, and he always has time and explains to me, and then I'll be able to answer the next time we meet. Which next means that that's a learning experience for you as well. Yes, very much. Rebecca, have you really spread this in Sharon, Massachusetts to other people? Oh, yes. Um, in fact, right now they're all listening. <laughs> oh, good. Good <laughs> yes. for them. And not only um, my tour mate, but my children uh, for the very first time this year are going to Boys Own. My, I have two boys, and they are going. I, I signed oh, wow. Yes. So it's spreading. It's, it's spreading, spreading to the boys. Yes, my two boys. Um, they're very excited. In fact, we weren't, um, we weren't going to make it this trip. On um, Thursday, I brought my car in, and they told me that I couldn't take my car to New Jersey. And so I had to call Kayla at uh, 11 o'clock Thursday night to tell her that I couldn't come. And she said, no, you're coming. <laughs> so, um, we, so my boys went to bed Thursday night thinking we weren't coming, and they were so upset. And then I woke them up Friday to tell them that they were coming. And we rented a car, and we started our trip from Sharon, which should take about five and a half hours, and ended up taking us about ten, because the rental car blew a flat on the highway. So you know what? But on that flat, let's just mention that one eight seven 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 auction is the number to call. You could get through now. It's a little window. As we are hearing about uh, Rebecca's trip from Sharon, Massachusetts, please call in. You could multitask. You could multitask. You could listen with one ear and dial with the other ear. One eight seven 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 auction. But you did make it. If I can make it, you can call. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? We have to find out why we don't have a radio station in Massachusetts. I agree. You know. You know also online with Moshe, www.ura.org. You can watch the uh, Radiothon online, www.ura.org. And you know, Yossi, it's interesting, Elchanan, it's interesting that you hear, oh, you hear, see now the Ura cycle. It's, it's Torah mates is infectious. It leads to boy zone. Then it leads to Rebecca speaking to other people. It leads to Kayla saying to some of her neighbors on the east side, right? You're from the east side. My wife loves the east side. She's an east sider, you know. She says it's the best place on earth. You know, the warmest place on earth. Per perfect for Torah mates. Perfect. So she's going to tell her neighbors on the east side, on Grand Street and FDR Drive, you know, you could be a Torah mate too. You know, and, and, and uh, it's just thrilling to have the two of of you here, and uh, we wish you that you should continue with your relationship. It should bring you both to greater heights in spirituality. Thank you for joining Ura Radio Thou 2010. One